farm update. Sunday evening, we had a little bit of rain. This is Monday evening at 6.48. Okay, almost an inch and three quarters of rain Sunday. Actually knocked our power off for about five minutes. The garden is done, along with the gardener. I'm sick of hot weather. <clears throat> so, it's grown up in weeds. Uh, apparently our weeding crew fell out on us as well. The zinnias finally picked up and have produced some. Uh, that was the uh, <clears throat> awful dirt that we got from Home Depot it wasn't worth a flip. They finally produced some. Uh, pasture's looking good. That rain gonna be very beneficial to our goldenrod crop this year. Um, I know a lot of folks have uh, been facing a severe drought, but we've done pretty good here, right, right here at the house. Now, you hear me gripe about the storms working all around us and never dropping any rain on us, but uh, I mean, overall, we've done better this year than we have in years past with uh, uh, rain totals. And I, I don't know if you can see them on the video, but I have a herd of dragonflies back here. And And the only thing I can figure is they're eating the honeybees. I have some honeybees foraging, not many, but the only thing I can figure is those dragonflies are catching the honeybees on the wing. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm just highly suspicious of it. And really right now where I'm standing, I can't see near the dragonflies that I was seeing 30 minutes ago, so. Yep, it's hot out here. I'm miserable. I am miserable. Now this is better. It's just miserable outside, folks. You know, have we become soft? Is that the reason why that we can't deal with heat anymore? Is it because that the majority of us work in air conditioning? The majority of us have air conditioning in our cars. And I reckon everybody has some type of air conditioning in their house. Have we just gotten salt? I don't hold much stock in that global warming stuff just because of all the other stuff they tried to push on us. Ice age, uh, a new ice age. See, when I was in, in school, they were talking about new ice age coming along. And then they started hollering that all the oil was going to be gone and the ice caps going to melt. We just don't have enough data on our weather to convince me that this is global warming. But I'm doing my part to contribute to global warming. <sighs> Smoking me a little bit all in the evening. I'm just about out. I'm going to have to order me some more. Hello to my online pipe tobacco group, the YPTC. <clears throat> if you've watched any of my videos here of late, 
probably know that I've had an issue with my truck. It's an issue that Chevrolet knows about, GM. It's because it has an active fuel management system on it. That means at any given time, that truck can go from a V8 to a V4 to try to conserve energy, uh, gas. And in so doing, they have uh, created a, a fatal flaw in their design. Hear my wife upstairs playing the piano? The name again, he is here, hallelujah. Uh, <clears throat> we have to uh, deal with the government regulations about fuel mileage. And um, they have a fatal flaw that's been designed into their uh, V8 engines since 2013. There's a class action lawsuit about it. Well, mine... Um, went bad on me last week. Uh, no, three weeks. Three weeks ago. <clears throat> Long story short, I took it to my buddy Billy Youngblood, who is an outstanding mechanic here in the Woodstock area. Well, got news today that uh, the camshaft still has a mirror finish on it. So, praise the Lord. I'm not going to have to replace the engine. We're just going to replace the 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 four DOD. I'm there's a acronym that's an acronym for something, but it's the pistons that collapse. Not pistons, the lifters that collapse. They have a spring on them, so we could get away with only replacing the two on the left hand side of the engine. But I'm going to replace all four because I had thoroughly planned on getting 200,000 miles out of this truck when I bought it seven years ago. So, that cut the repair bill down exponentially. Still not happy about paying to have it fixed, but, you know, it's out of warranty and the class action lawsuit is, is nothing. It's just a class action lawsuit. You know, nothing may ever come come out of it, who knows. I've never been involved with one. I signed up for it, never been involved with one. So, but, you know, I'm just as puzzled now, or unsure now as I was three weeks ago, because, you know, is this fix gonna be a 100,000 mile fix? Or 10,000 mile fix? Yep. <clears throat> Life throws curveballs at you. Sometimes they hit you dead straight between the eyes. Oh, to be a goat. <laughs> well, <clears throat> there's that. Um, my weekend is over. It is uh, 7.01 on Monday evening. By this time, 12 hours from now, I'll be clocked in for an hour working. But I am, I am so miserable outside. It just, when you walk outside, it feels like weights just fall on you because of the humidity. So, it's not enjoyable at all. So anyhow, I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope everybody's having a good week. I want us all to be positive, and I'm talking to Jeff here. Be positive, Jeff. You gotta be positive. Yeah. My buddy David said, this is only a little bitty time when things ain't going your way, Jeff. And that's true. And it could be worse. Could be much worse. Not much going on here. You've seen the little clip prior to me getting out here where it's cool and enjoyable. I was outside, outdoors. I had went down to feed my pigeons. So... That's where we're at. But I did want to jump on here and say hi to everybody. Hope everybody's having a good week, good day, all that good stuff. I wish I had a good joke, but I ain't got one. I wish I had some good news. The only good news is Jesus loves you. 
that's the best news uh, that I can share with you right now. Just about the only news I can share with you and not get upset. It's, it's ridiculous, ain't it, folks? Smoking a pipe helps sometimes. I'm still having the <coughs> awfulest time trying to put a TV above our mantle. I got there and started checking, and from the ceiling, the, the sheetrock ceiling, down to the top of the mantle on our fireplace, the entire 60 inches is solid wood behind the sheetrock. I do not know why. I can't put a receptacle in there. Well, I could, but my wife knows how I am. And she said, you know, Jeff, honey, buddy, I think it might be better if we paid somebody to do that. You know what? I didn't argue with her. So we've got somebody coming here in the next couple of days to look at it. Don't know who. But if I ain't got to get up there and mess and cuss with it, it'll be better. So anyhow, just thought I'd jump on here and say hi. I appreciate all my likers, all my subscribers, and people that watch my videos. I hope you find something interesting, remotely funny, and uplifting. Ah! At my uplifting note. So, uh, um, I appreciate you stopping by. I've rambled on too long. I'm going to jump on off here. This is Jeff Eubanks. The Simple Life. You know, now I think about it, I'm not so sure that was the best title for a YouTube channel because there's not much simple about it anymore. Not much simple about it. I missed the button. <laughs>